Hello and welcome back to another ZBrush for iPad getting started tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at subdivision levels, Dynamesh, and Sculptures Pro. So to start off with subdivision levels, they are mostly used to increase the resolution of your mesh. So if I'm using my standard brush, for example, and I start sculpting on my model, you can see that a lot of the detail from that brush stroke gets lost due to the fact that there's literally not enough geometry on this model. So if I look at my polyframe, you can see these are the polygons of my model and they're just too big, there's not enough of them. So once I start sculpting, that's all the brush is doing. It's just pushing the verts up. You can check your geometry on the top left corner near our thumbnail over here, where it says active points and total points. This refers to the points that you currently have on your selected subtool versus the points of all the subtools combined. So to divide the mesh, all you need to do is press this button down here on the custom toolbar. So if I click divide, you can see the geometry gets smoother and smoother as I keep dividing. So right now we have four subdivision levels and this slider on the top allows you to scroll back and forth between subdivision levels. So if we're on the subdivision level four and we start sculpting, now you can see you have a lot more detail. To delete subdivision levels, you can press one of these two red buttons and it will delete the lower subdivision levels or the higher subdivision levels. So in this case, I'm gonna delete lower. There comes a point when you'll face this issue when you're working with subdivision levels. Let's go to our move brushes and use our move brush and let's increase our draw size a little bit. And as we start moving around and maybe sculpting with our clay buildup, you can see the polygons start to stretch. And that's due to the nature of subdivision levels because you're just dividing. So for that, we're gonna use something called Dynamesh. So Dynamesh is this little button down here on the custom toolbar. If you click it, it's gonna reprocess or remake that topology for you. And if you press and hold Dynamesh, you can see you have a resolution slider here, which allows you to up this resolution and to redo that Dynamesh, you don't need to press that button anymore. You could just drag and mask out into the open document and let go. It's gonna rework that Dynamesh according to the settings that you have here. To access both of those features, you can go over here to our palette button under tool and under geometry, you can see we have the subdivision levels over here on the top. And then as we scroll down, we have the Dynamesh menu, which controls the exact same parameters that you've seen before on the custom toolbar. The other method that we're gonna take a look at is the Sculptures Pro. Sculptures Pro dynamically reworks the geometry as you're sculpting. This means that, for example, if I'm working with the damn standard brush, let's lower this Dynamesh resolution just a little bit, and let's control drag a mask so you can see it's a lower resolution mesh now. So let's go like super small with the draw size and I can start sculpting. You can see there's not a lot of detail on this Dynamesh. I could just up the Dynamesh resolution slider, but what if I only want that detail locally? So in that case, I'm going to use this little button right next to it on the right. That's called Sculptures Pro. With Sculptures Pro, same brush size, and you can see it's already way more crispy than before. And if I look at my polyframe, what it's doing is it's basically reworking that topology as you're sculpting on your mesh. And this is dependent on the brush size which means if I have a bigger brush and I start sculpting, you can see that the size of the triangles is gonna be bigger than what I previously had. And if I lower the brush size and go really, really small and I start sculpting, the size of those polygons is gonna be incredibly small. So this was a basic introduction to subdivision levels, Dynamesh and Sculptures Pro. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.